Hey everyone, Jason from Iron Fet Shop with a quick answer to a common question we get all the time. Today's question is, how do I power my driveway gate automation? While it's fairly universal, today's answers are going to be about our ghost control systems, but a majority of the other operators on the market are going to function in the same way. Now, if you've done any research on your gate automation, you've probably seen solar panels and plug-in options advertised. But what most people don't realize is this guy right here is really what's powering your gate. This is the battery in your control box. And all these two guys are doing is trickle charging him to make sure that he's at full power so your gate will function. That way, if you've got a cloudy day for solar or a power outage or plug-in, this guy can still function until the battery's dead. Now, one key thing to keep in mind is that powering your gate is an either or option. You can't have both plug-in and solar power with most kits. So you're gonna have to choose whether the solar power is gonna trickle charge your battery or whether the plug-in power is gonna trickle charge your battery. Now, if you're going with the plug-in option, this is not some huge power unit that needs a 220 line run down to the gate. It's realistically just low voltage landscape wire. So all you really need is an outdoor outlet of some kind to plug this guy into. So what that means is you could have power up at the house and plug this thing in an outdoor outlet at your garage and run the wiring back down to the gate. You don't have to have power right at the gate. This will be much less expensive to run than a dedicated 120 line going all the way down to your gate. Just keep in mind that with the power option here, you're gonna be limited to about 850 to 1,000 feet from the house. Beyond that, the low voltage wire is just not gonna send a signal or you would have to have power down there. Now I will say I have a bit of a bias. I do like the plug-in power a little bit more. Now, these guys work fantastic and they get better day by day, but I also live in Ohio. So nine months out of the year, this is fantastic. The three months of winter where the sun doesn't come out for more than three hours a day, gets a little tough for them to work. So I do like the plug-in power. I think it's gonna be more reliable than your solar power option, but that's just something to keep in mind. If you're down in Texas, California, something like that where sun's abundant, these guys can be a terrific option. That being said, let's roll into our solar power option here. Now, one thing to keep in mind is this guy here needs about six to eight hours of sunshine a day. So if you don't get that much sun or it goes behind the trees, this may be a bit of a tougher option for you to use as a power source. Temperature, weather, how much sun it's getting are all gonna affect how good this guy works. So it works fantastic, like I mentioned down in Texas, may not work so great up in South Dakota. Just depends on what you're getting. Just keep in mind you need that kind of sunshine to go out there. Now there is a handy resource on Ghost Control's website where they have a solar map that kind of tells you what zone you're in and how well these guys are gonna work for you. Again, if you're in an area with a lot of long, dreary winters, these guys might struggle a bit. If you're in an area with abundant sunshine or your gate's more than a thousand feet away from the house where running power is just not feasible, then that's where these guys shine, no pun intended. So to answer today's question, how do I power my driveway gate automation? Well, realistically, your battery does, but you need to choose how you're gonna keep your battery happy and healthy the whole way through. So whether it be plug-in power or solar, look at the pros and cons, look at your situation and see which one's gonna work best for you. If we can help with any other questions, feel free to give us a call at 800 261-2729 or shoot us an email at sales at ironfenceshop.com. We look forward to helping you out with your project.